Aishwarya Mahadev now uh, from the Congress party. Aishwarya, you've been hearing in the, con uh, you know, in the conversation, uh, you had KC Tyagi ji who said very clearly that yes, he agrees that you spoke in a different language earlier and you possibly paid the price of that. However, the BJP is very clear, Aishwarya Mahadev, that this is politics of opportunism. Since 1952, your stand was anti-caste census. 2009, there are interviews of Rahul Gandhi where he's made it very clear that he doesn't believe in caste census. 2015, uh, Karnataka, where you come from, uh, you have the data, but you don't make it public in terms of where uh, it, uh, the figures of the OBC. You can do that. You're not doing it. Good evening, Preeti. I think first and foremost, I would like to applaud the Indian education system for the fact that people like Guru uh, Prakash here can give you such eloquent lessons of history. But the fact remains that today we are talking about what is today. Mr. Tyagi also has spoken about the stand of the Congress. But let me tell you two very important things that are extremely pertinent for the discourse today, especially in light of what was said yesterday by the Prime Minister um, and whatnot. There is an inherent difference between caste discrimination and the demand for a caste-based census. It is massive hypocrisy that when somebody is chief minister, they talk about their OBC credentials, while other people, when they talk about affirmative actions for communities that need it, because caste is a moving sort of dynamic a metric that we cannot account for without having a socio-economic census, there is massive opposition to it. One. Second is when my state goes to election, the self-same man that talks about defeating casteism comes out and talks about reservation and affirmative action for the Vokaligas and the Lingayats or rather the Panchamshali community while removing caste, uh, while removing reservation for one entire community in itself. But post the massive route in Karnataka now talks about how Caste and, uh, caste and religious and regional forces should not speak against nationalism. And that is what I believe is hypocrisy. The Congress party, forget the past. We have also conceded post-2011. My own leader has spoken about the fact that maybe it may have been a mistake that we did not allow for a socio-economic census okay. numbers to come out validly. Let me, Preeti, I've heard all yeah, of yeah, them. Go, quite ahead. Quite. go ahead, go ahead. But the reality today is this, Preeti. You cannot inherently negate the fact that for better delivery of welfare schemes, that for better delivery of targeted resources, there is a necessity for a socio-economic census one. And that, I believe, is inherently all that we're asking for. Mr. Tyagi also mm -hmm. has conceded this. While Mr. Pa um, Guru Prakash's own leaders in Bihar from the BJP also supported this idea for that socio-economic census or rather to go forward with this for better metrics and to better calculate what is the reality of the country. So don't give me a history lesson. Do not okay. give me diatribes. Do not tell me what you believe was 60 years ago, but tell me how your prime minister three months ago was saying something different in my state. And today after the massive sort of shaming in my state has gone on to say, you know, don't allow these caste senses okay. and caste ideas to take away from nationalism. Isn't that sheer hypocrisy? The fact is, Preeti, the country does deserve better metrics okay. to deliver the promises and the guarantees. Okay, and okay Dr. Paswan, I want to bring I, you in. Always I want to bring you in for a counter because, you know, yes, we can go in the past and the Congress has admitted it. You have even their ally, JDU, which admits very clearly that, yes, they were wrong. They paid the price. Mandal was practically the Congress's undoing at that point of time. But having said that, having said that, what you're arguing is that the BJP is for the OBCs. You say that the BJP has walked the talk. Uh, they are for the extremely backward. Then put your money where your mouth is. Go ahead and have a caste census. Then why ditter? Uh, Preeti, I see that there is a strong uh, sense of discomfort of my friend from the Congress party with the element of history. So I'll give an example from what happened yesterday. A Dalit woman was gang raped and murdered in Rajasthan while Madam Priyanka Gandhi was there. Did she give a statement? Absolutely not. What our point is, which is very simple, that social justice cannot be a matter of rhetoric. Social justice cannot be viewed in a binary of yes and no. What have you done? Where have you given the representation in the entire history of Congress party till now? Preeti, how many Dalit president has been there? Zero. It was the Bharti Janta Party for the first time in the history of Indian politics. Late Bangaru Lakshman was the first Dalit to become a national president of a national I'll come to you. Let party. him finish. Let how him finish. Let the history? Right, this is a very convenient argument. I, 
yeah i did not speak when you were speaking madam so you have to understand this so in the entire history of the congress party you see where have they ever shared the power no the voice of caste census has emerged from uttar pradesh and bihar who is the president of congress party in uttar pradesh is it an obc no who is the president of congress party in bihar is it an obc no to obc to hai hi nahi na when there is no obc at the leadership position the fact of the matter preete is that they want to use obc you, sc st only as a vote but bank, dr paswan not as dr. a vote bank when as it comes the to india alliance the power, is not only the congress Preeti, you can continue to attack the congress and you know and and you should because your opponents but having said that you have the likes of mr kc tyagi who's gone on end to explain and he's given you enough history and dices to suggest otherwise Preeti, if I can complete my point, please, I have heard please. you patiently. The compass of the com the compass of the caste census is in Bihar. Who is the president of the Congress Party in Bihar? Mr. Akhilesh Singh. Is he an OBC? No. Is he, he an SC? No. Is he a Scheduled Tribe? No. The president of the Congress Party in Uttar Pradesh is also from a general category. तो जब सत्ता में साझेदारी की बात आती है जब संगठन में नेतृत्व क्षमता को खड़ा करने की बात आती है तब आप ओबीसी को मौका नहीं देंगे एंड नाउ यू आर सींग ओबीसी ओबीसी सो यू कैन नो लॉन्गर फूल द ओबीसी एस सीज एंड एस टीज दैट इज माई वेरी सिंपल पॉइंट दैट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दलित कैन नॉट बी जस्ट वोट बैंक OBCs okay. cannot just be vote bank, Aishwarya but they can Mahadev, be thought banks as well. Other than just aap having three sitting OBC chief kariye. ministers, other than having three sitting OBC chief ministers, where it comes down to the dynamics uh, elucidated uh, by Dr. Paswan, you really aren't, you know, to say walking the talk, which the BJP says they've been doing it for a while. You know the sheer hypocrisy is in Karnataka when you talk about uh, secretaries and uh, chief secretaries and people heading there. The BJP there started crying foul about the fact that a lot of OBCs and minorities were being given an opportunity. But I'll move past that. Preeti, I have one single question. Right? Fine. Uh, we will all concede that the India Alliance may have its flaws. We may not have accommodated enough people. We may not have walked the talk. I will listen to all of that rhetoric that uh, Guru makes, uh, the BJP spokesperson makes as his argument. But tell me this: the BJP okay. is a party with a difference. The BJP is the party that has stood for the downtrodden, as they claim. The BJP is the party that has basically spoken. Achhe din vikas, amrit kal, kartavya kal. I really don't know what kal we are in now. So tell me this. conceding that all the opposition parties have made all the mistakes that there are and you stand as the vanguard or the guardian for the obcs and the downtrodden the scs and the sts so tell okay. me why that the bjp today is shaking in its boots to actually have a socio economic census or even okay. tell me why a socio okay, you know i'm going i'm running out of time i'm going to cut you short dr paswan please tell her why you have 20 seconds and I'd allow me to give the last question to uh, mr kc tyagi he's a senior for the both of you 20 seconds dr paswan no no 100% and preeti let me make this very clear when it actually came to sharing of power when it actually came to creating cultivating leaders from the obcs scs and sts it is the bharatiya janata party that has done it and Answer look at the hypocrisy of the congress party do not look at the double okay. standards of the congress party okay preeti i will interrupt because he is not answering Madam, my question preeti ji okay please preeti, okay, let's not talk over each other Preeti, let's not talk about that. that. No, okay, that. allow Preeti, him if he wants Preeti, to answer Preeti, it or he doesn't want to Preeti, answer it. Allow him. Ashwara, you've had your, you know, just say. Go ahead, sir. Twenty seconds, please, sir. Twenty no, seconds. No, no, Preeti, who is going to decide that? If Preeti, who is going to Preeti, who is going to decide that? I did not speak a single word when. Sir, I'm saying I'm giving you twenty seconds. No, sir, saying, please, this is the please, sheer twenty seconds. This is the sheer arrogance and the feudal. Ab fir aap bol rahi. No, no. This is the sheer arrogance and the feudal and the entitled mindset of the Congress Party. We will say, but no one will say Dalit. No one will say backward. No one will say Adivasi. No one will say that we will not say that. This is the true it mindset. It this is the okay, feudal mindset of the Congress Party. Okay, let's not get into it. May I? Okay, this but the both of you. Allow me. Allow me to. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Just not on the basis of caste lines. Just on the basis of seniority. Allow me. Twenty seconds. Just on the basis of seniority. Allow me. Twenty seconds. Just on the basis of seniority. Allow me. Twenty seconds. Just on the basis of seniority. Allow me. Twenty seconds. Just on the basis of seniority. Allow me. Twenty seconds. Just on the basis of seniority. Allow me. Twenty seconds. Just on the basis of seniority. Allow me. Twenty seconds. Just on the basis of seniority. Allow me. Twenty seconds. Just on the basis of seniority. Allow me. Twenty seconds. Just on the basis of seniority. Allow me. Twenty seconds. Just on the basis of seniority. किसी त्यागी जी जस्ट वन फाइनल क्वेश्चन वट एवर यू आर आस्किंग जो भी आपकी मांग है कास्ट सेंसस की आगे क्या है सर एंड गेम क्या है क्योंकि उस पर एक रोक है जो सुप्रीम कोर्ट है पचास परसेंट की रोक है त्यागी जी प्रीति जी बहुत अच्छा सवाल आपने किया 
इकोनॉमिकली वीकर सेक्शन के लोगों को 10 परसेंट का आरक्षण दिया जाए ये केंद्र सरकार ने व्यवस्था की है इससे पहले इंदिरा सहनी केस में आरक्षण की सीमा 50 परसेंट तय होगी थी जब केंद्र सरकार ने ही ये सीमा रेखा तोड़ दी है तो 50 प्रतिशत का कैप अब खत्म हो गया है लिहाजा जो समाज के वंचित समाज के लोग हैं जो पिछड़ी जातियों के लोग हैं जो अति पिछड़ी जातियों के लोग हैं अगर वो जातिगत जनगणना के बाद अपना कोटा बढ़ाने के लिए कहेंगे तो वर्तमान सरकार किस मुंह से किस चेहरे से उसका विरोध करेगी जबकि 50 परसेंट की जो कैप है उसकी सीमा रेखा उन्होंने समाप्त कर दी यद्यपि इकोनॉमिकली वीकर प्रत्यागी जी देखिए ये जो सीमा रेखा जो सीमा रेखा की आप बात कर रहे हैं वो सिर्फ कास्ट लाइंस पर आ, रोक है जी, ए, जो ईडब्ल्यू एस है उस पर नहीं रोक है जी, जी, 50 परसेंट की सीमा रेखा टूटी हाँ या ना सर टूटी है पर वो कास्ट लाइंस पे रोक है सर कास्ट पे आप और प्र, वो, वो नहीं दे सकते हैं आरक्षण मैं कास्ट और क्लास की बात बाद में करूंगा पहले तो आप मेरी बात को स्वीकार कीजिए कि 50 प्रतिशत से अधिक का कोटा भी आरक्षण का हो सकता है ये सीमा रेखा भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार ने तोड़ दी जी नाउ इट इज फ्री फॉर ऑल वो क्लास के आधार पे कर रहे हम सोशली और एजुकेशनली जो बैकवर्ड है उनके आधार पर कर रहे इसमें फर्क क्या है नंबर एक नंबर दो इंडियन सोसाइटी कास्ट के आधार पर भी डिवाइडेड है और क्लास के आधार पर भी डिवाइड है कार्ल मार्क्स का मानना था कि सोसाइटी दो हिस्सों में डिवाइडेड है एक कास्ट एक कास्ट है जो इकोनॉमी के लिए है एक मालिक है एक मजदूर है लेकिन अंबेडकर लोहिया और कर्पूरी ठाकुर मानते हैं कि क्लास भी है और कास्ट भी है वरना क्यों तीन हजार साल से एक कम्युनिटी अपने सर पे पखाना होती है 